Hey everyone, it's Wednesday the 4th of September and it's 7.40 in the evening. Right, today's video. I have got some brand new diecast models to take a look at. I've got a box of diecast vehicles to take a look at, which I got from the diecast guy earlier this evening. And two barricade lamps to take a look at as well. So, I'm going to start the brand new diecast so I can get that out of the way. Then we'll have a look at the two lamps so I can free up desk space. And then I'm going to put this box up there because it's a, it's a large-ish, it's a good size box. So, uh, I think there's only like two brand new Hot Wheels in here. The rest are all uh, majorettes, including some anniversary ones. So this one's Cast Heads magazine. Never heard of it. Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. I do like the colour of that. I'm going to have to just pop them down there for a minute because I haven't got any boxes or anything. What's this one? Audi R8 Coupe, which I've already got. Except this one's the taxi version, which I didn't have. These are actually quite expensive, you know. These are three quid a pop. If you want the anniversary ones, they're six quid a pop. Uh, this is a Porsche 911 Carrera S convertible. Most of these aren't going to be opened, in case you were wondering. Audi Q4 e trans I'm guessing that's an EV. I'm not that familiar with EVs. There's only a handful that I actually know. Uh, a Nissan Z in a very nice blue. Another Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7, but this time in black. I think I like this one better. Collect them all. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Got that one, got that one. I've got four of them. I think I am missing a yellow and green one from the top row. I think. Unless the green one is in the box of majorette through there. Here's one of the anniversary ones. And some sort of, I don't know if it's plastic or card case. Metal body, rubber tires, suspension, opening parts, licensed vehicle. <clears throat> Deluxe cars. It actually, oh it's actually on the tin or plinth or whatever it actually is. Bugatti Chiron? 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 How do you actually pronounce that? I have no idea. Uh, PUR Sport. It's a much larger pack as well. I actually don't mind paying the slightly higher price for these majorettes because they are decent quality cars. McLaren Senna. I don't think I've got this one. I'm now having second thoughts. That might be another one for eBay. I've got a Pink Beetle with surfboard boxed majorette to go on eBay if anyone's interested. Yeah, here's the other Porsche. A Porsche 917. And I think this is the large, the last rather, of the majorettes. I believe that is now the only Land Rover I've got with opening doors and bonnet. Of this scale, at least. It's a very, they are such nice looking models though, even today. It's what I've, I've always liked Majorette, even when I was a kid. I loved Majorette. Because they just looked so good to me. Uh, 2018 Camaro SS, I think. And last, the new stuff. I must have had a thing for Porsches today because uh, I've got this one, which is a Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 in yellow. And the Hot Wheels version. Which is actually smaller than the Majorette. 
Maybe later I'll open this and I'll open one of the other ones and we'll uh, do a little comparison of them. I'll do that at the end of the video. And then I can tell you which one I prefer and you can tell me which one you prefer out of the two. Right, barricade lamps. So I've got these two lamps from my friend over on Facebook. Um, I've got this one first which was probably about two and a half weeks ago now. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I already had eight of these in my collection. Um, but this one caught my attention because it's got the screw-in lenses. None of my other ones have that. And apparently that shows that this is the earlier, earliest version of it. Um, which is about 90, uh, late 1970s. So I was told, when you look at the lenses, got this amber lip where the lens butts up against the frame for the lamp head there um, whereas on later versions <coughs> and this one will actually be going up on eBay because I've had a bit of a clean out you see on this later version the lenses sit underneath this I actually like that style this one looks a bit tidier and cleaner but I like that style for some reason So yeah, I've got two of these to go. I've got one with the Greenham sticker on it to go up on the eBay's. Now, got this one as well. Now it's actually a Dorman Smith highlight. I don't know why they put the traffic light sticker on it. It is actually a very early highlight at that. Um, there's a few telltale signs that it's an earlier one. The sticker, the style of the sticker, shows it's earlier. It's also got um, a smooth lens at the top here. There's no provision at the top there to fit a carry handle. I'm going to show you later versions of these lamps. That one's got Traffy B light on it, but the names are just for well basically the type of circuitry that's in it, that's all that name signifies. Other than that, you know, body and lenses are basically traffic light. Anyway, if you look at the top of this one, that's got the um, provision for the handle and a handle attached. Your traffic B light, they have the uh, sensors in the back to for the synchro flash, for the synchro guides. I think there is other versions of the traffic beat light as well. And plus the date code in the in this battery tray is actually 1986. Which is probably the biggest giveaway that it's a really early version. Um, the circuit is also an early version of um, this particular type of circuit. It's almost identical to the modern ones, but these longer brass contacts are actually wider than the later version of the highlight circuit. These are quite broad. Yeah, other than that, they didn't really change much. Just the contacts. Like I said these are narrower on the uh, newer version. I've just realised you can mount the switch either side on that. It all does work. And um, the highlight lamps, they do need two of the 6 volt lantern batteries to work. They won't work on just one. In case you've ever wondered why a lot of these lamps, especially, you know, like these just standard everyday road work lamps will run on one battery even though they can use two it's because if you put two in here you double the um, length of time that this can run um, still six volt still a six volt bulb but the batteries are wired in parallel instead of series if you wire batteries in series you increase the voltage 
but your amp hour is exactly the same. If you wire them in parallel, you keep the voltage, that stays the same, but you basically increase the oomph of the amp hour so it runs for longer. Right, I'm going to get this box up here now. We caught the tripod leg, sorry about that. Ooh. Quite a large uh, box here. Now there is a mix of stuff in here. There's Majorette, Matchbox and Corgi for the most part. I know my head, top of my head's being cut off but I can't do much about that. Um, I can't, looking at the top I can see items that will be shoved up on eBay. Um, but I can also see items that I'm going to keep. Because they're either better than the ones I have got, or I haven't got them. So, let's just get stuck in, shall we? The Majorette stuff I'm going to keep, because I don't have much in the way of these trucks. So we've got a couple here. This one's in lovely condition, actually. Got these um, Savium tanker trucks. got Avia. And we've got, I'm going to put the Majorettes over here, actually. We've got Arrow. Oh, Match, I think Matchbox did some Arrow for overseas. You see, uh, Major Eight is a French company, so both myself and the Diecast guys said, you know, a lot of these may have come from abroad, as there's some here that I've never seen over here. Like uh, this one. I've seen it in blue, I've seen it in orange, but I've not seen it in green. Mercedes truck. Uh, speaking of blue, there's the blue version. I'm assuming these are part of a set and there's meant to be like a trailer and a canopy to go in there to go with it. Uh, what else have we got in here? Some of this is actually in reasonably good condition. Is that a matchbox? Be squint so I can see what I'm... it is. A matchbox, a field gun. I've got a lot of other military vehicles, but I didn't know that existed, so that's a keeper. I have actually got a box here that I'm going to keep stuff in. And anything that's definitely going to go on eBay, I'm going to put in the blue box that's on the floor. Right. Um. I might have to clean this one up. No, actually that's a bit too crappy. I was thinking I could put this, could have put that on eBay because I have got a handful of these. But yeah, that's a bit cruddy on the bottom really, isn't it? So that might go in my scrap pile. That's a good shot. Got a major ep trailer here, shell tanker. Major ep made their trucks smaller than Matchbox. So hopefully we've got the uh it's actually that daft I like that. But hopefully we've got the cab for that or a cab that I can put on it. I've got rear end for a refuse truck. <laughs> hey, look at that. What a funky little truck. I can go on eBay. It won't go on eBay, but I think I will. Uh... Donate that one to charity. Mine went blank again. Uh... That's another major app. I think it's meant to be a tipper or something on the back of that one. So it's got the little nub on the roof that they get used to lock into and a little hinge on the back. We've got a couple of these Sealand trailers in here. do almost look like they are um, 
I'm on the railway scale. Oh, what a shame on that one. Still a nice little model though. We've got the Rover police car from Matchbox, but it's missing the little siren in the middle there. Might have one that I can pinch from another one. I don't really want to chuck that in that box because that is in nice condition apart from that. What have we got here? It's a Mazda. From Matchbox. Quite a nice vehicle that one. Not one similar that I just threw in the scrap box because it was just rough as old boots. Uh, that was a good one. And here's another one that is not going in there because that is freaking mint. I have got another one of these but not as mint as this so this is going to go over with my uh, what I call a special pile. That is a gorgeous Mustang, it's in lovely condition. Hello. That's the um, police car from Dukes of Hazard. It's got a sticker missing on this door. It's a bit rough as well, but... It. Apparently it's not a key because it just bounced out of the box. Another one of these. I'll just make sure I've got that box. I've got one similar, but I don't know if it's exactly like that. It was actually a rare book, well, a version that I've not seen before. I've seen the name, but not on that truck. Mayflower. That one can actually go in it. Bad here in the key box. Um, this is my third one of these and the condition keeps getting better every time I find one apart from the hooks are missing now I've got two in worse condition than this one one's actually still got one hook so I'm going to go and pinch that at some point and put it on this one I'll keep that one out to one side then what else have we got no no, I've got loads of these. These are becoming the bane of my existence. <laughs> that, can, um, that can go, that one. This is um, one of those castings that I just can't resist but keep. An old uh, ambulance. It's a shame it's missing its doors. Don't need that one, I've got the Kellogg's one. We got? I don't know if I've got this one. I've got a few of these trucks, so that can go on the eBay's as well. sure about that one. It does have the door, no horses of course. I can't remember if I've got it with the green cab or not. I don't think I have. I think it's orange. So I'll put it in there for now and if I find I have it then I can get rid well, I didn't know that. I didn't know it um, they did a version with the black boom. My other one's got a yellow boom on it. And I've got another one here which is in nice condition but there's no boom on it. So I'm going to keep that one. Um, so I don't know if something like that with a missing boom would actually sell an eBay. I don't know if it's worth, you know, the hassle, or, you know, the time and effort to put it up there. Oh, I've got two of these. Are these the Matchbox versions? They are. Now I need to sit and decide which one of these I'm going to keep because I don't need to keep two. They are in relatively nice condition. 
in fact they're in about the same condition each <clears throat> yeah literally I don't think it's going to matter which one I decide to keep so we put one up there one in there the big van's been sitting upside down it's been bugging me what is it, it was a matchbox model of yesteryear but the only time I keep these is when I find them in a box like this. I wouldn't normally, you know, go out and buy them. There's another Model A van that can uh, go on the Ebays because I've got this one already. What's that one, the Champion Spark Plug? Yeah. Here's one that's going in the keep box. The US van, Coca-Cola. Don't have that. I've been looking for one of them. I've just found one of them. I don't know if the cab for it is in here, but you know I've got the orange version of it, but that's actually I've got several of the orange version of it. So I'm glad to find that in here at least. This about half of it. What is this? It's not bad to complain. Who's it made by? Lesney! And folding wings. And a little matchbox plane. Huh. No idea what the plane is. I don't think it says it under here. No, it doesn't. It's just got. Uh, Lesney 1981 England so I have no I'm not very good with planes I have no idea what the plane is that's nice stuff uh, no we've got another one again with folding wings this one may actually say what it is though so there's the plane so that's another fighter jet for some reason. Some type rather. Some reason. It just says swing wing. <laughs> that's all it's got on the wings. Swing wing. But it's actually nice to find these older matchbox planes complete because I find so many with the canopies missing. Or a wheel missing. Do something with this chair, it's getting rather creaky, isn't it? Ah. Does that one go with that tanker trailer? Does that look right? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, it fits on it though. It doesn't mean it goes with it, but it fits on it. Oh, I've got two of these. I'm going to put these out to the side here because I've got one on my shelf of Corgi. And I just want to make sure you know that these ones, or one of these ones, aren't better than the one I've got up there. In fact, I might just keep one of these anyway. In condition. Yeah, roughly about the same. Uh, oops. Corgi Escort. And I've just realised I've actually got a car, two cars in my pocket. I've got a number of these. And the other ones I've got are in about the same condition. So, as tempting as it is, I'm not going to keep that one. I've got these as well. I'm going to put both of these in the uh, eBay box, the BP oil ones. What's this? Chocolate eclairs from Cadbury's. Little Lido van. I might eBay that one. These, this style of Lido van actually uh, interests me even less. Alright, uh, 
this one's got chunk out of it, but that is in nice condition, so I'm going to keep that apart from that chip out of the front. I'm not going to keep that, it's just a simple little truck. I'm going to give them stuff for charity. So we've got a nice matchbox cab here. And another one actually. That's typical, I kept one of these from that other box of die cast. Now I've got another one in slightly better condition. Still missing that inner ladder though. Keep. Oh, one of the BP trucks has bounced out of the box. Ooh. I've got a mystery box in here as well. Not the um, die cast guy, I didn't even open it, so he doesn't know what's in it. It's a corgi with compliments of Weetabix, Jaguar. Ah, so that's one that you would send off for, for, you know, you eat your cereal, cut the tokens out, save them up and post them off. Hey. Okay. Oh, I do love these, so I'm keeping both. I can't resist. Both still got the tow, hick, uh, the tow hooks. Tow hicks. I might stick one on eBay. Oh, there's another one. I have got to go through my collection of convoy stuff, so there could be some odds and ends of convoy stuff. I haven't got anything really that would be complete, I don't think. So yeah, if you like the convoy stuff, there will be eventually some stuff up on eBay. All the Matics with a blue beacon. Check what colour it is on the other ones. I've already got one of these. I lack cabs though, that's the problem. And this is actually better than my other one of these as well, but I haven't got a cab for that either. I don't think. What the bloody dreaded. Combine harvesters. So yeah, I'll keep those little trailers. What's this? The Mercedes uh, taxi from Matchbox. Roller. I've already got two of these, I don't need any more, so that can go into there. I've got two of these as well. Super Boss. seen these put together as a set along with a race car as well. I don't think the race car itself is in here but I believe I do have one. I'll keep that. Not that. No. Is that a matchbox roller? It's an interesting roller. It's going to be kept either way but I just want to know what it is. Have a look. Corky Juniors. I like that roller. I'm going to keep that one. I don't need any more of these things either. If I have any more, I could literally start a fleet of them. In fact, I could probably start a fleet right now. That's a bit dirty. It's going to need a wash, or at least a base wheel. But we've got a Ferrari there in orange. A little bit rough, but I don't have it. 
with Matchbox's diesel locos. Apparently you could actually get a track system for this as well, I didn't know that. I have also got 4345 and I have also got in here a GWR <laughs> pannier tank, but one of each. this because this is actually in I was going to say nice condition the paint is in nice condition the plastic bit on the back is broken keep this as well it's in um, slightly better condition than my other one it's hard to come across those uh, rain drivers in good condition because when you do, they're usually quite expensive. So, are these my fox? Yep, so I've got two of these. Pepsi Max, match, or Pepsi Matchbox trucks. One in there, one in there. We've got cheap plastic Ford Sierra model railway car. I've got something written on the bottom of it. What is it? You've got a tiny little screw there as well. It is actually a Hornby. Oh. That's a pleasant surprise. Okay. I don't really need three of these, do I? I don't know. Maybe I could. Maybe the trailer on its own would sell because I'm really not seeing a cab in here for any of them. So. Little police helicopter, I don't know who it's made by though, not yet. Corgi Juniors. That's a police helicopter that I haven't got. But you ain't got many Corgi helicopters anyway. I have got several variations of this, so I could put this one on eBay, and it's complete. So. No interest to me. Uh, I think I've got a way better one of these, so I'll put that one on eBay. So it's not the best of conditions. Some people will buy them. Ah. Some people would buy cars like that to do like customs on or to use in a junkyard scene or something. Oh, I just found. So hopefully we want to find that trailer is in. There it is. Hopefully. I'm assuming that's correct. Again like I said I'm just assuming. Well it, well either way at least it's got a cab with it now. Another one. Ah, motorcycle with a broken handlebar. That's no surprise. Now, I have got one of these, but this one is in much better condition. So that's a keeper. Two lorries in. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, there's two green lorries in there. I didn't know who made them, but there was a big clue on the side, and I'll show you that in a minute. Lovely little Mercedes from Corgi. I've got this style of Mercedes, but not in this red colour. So, that's key. There's another one of them generic Chinese made cars. That's broken, so I can go in the scrap pile over there. I think there's another one laying upside down in here. Oh, I was actually going to put this in the um, selling box. I just realised it's got yellow wheels. Now I've got tractors and other 
farm machinery with yellow wheels as well from Matchbox. I don't think I've got the um, combine, so. Pull that. Yep, there's another one. I'll put that in the donation stuff because that one's actually not broken. The other one had broken rear wheels. I've seen people donate broken stuff to charity, and I'm just like, why? It just it makes no sense to me. Oh, this is a, a Porsche from Matchbox I didn't have. I've got this and I don't know how many other variations and colours, but not the green one. That door's a bit loose. Driver's door, driver's door is waving. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a metallic green one. Is this a Corgi? Yep, little Corgi space shell. I nearly dropped it. <laughs> I have, I've literally just put one of these away. Sometimes I don't mind having two, so... Ah, that is in better condition than my other one. Got a couple of versions of the foam unit as well. Resting van over there. This is one that caught my interest as well because it's actually got the bloody canopy on the back. That's so rare to find these with that canopy. So I was well chuffed when I saw that in there. There was two of these in here. Another Corgi Coca Cola van as well. Look at these rubber. They feel decent quality. I thought they were American vans, but they're not. It's got Bedford written on the bottom. They're little Bedford vans. I might actually try some of these on some of the diecast groups I'm on. I don't know whether to keep one or... No, get rid of one. And get rid of that. Uh, keep that one. Right, what have we got? Oof. I say oof because I've already got a few of these. Are you serious? There's another Kellogg's. Not lay van, and then there's another champion spark plug. Don't need those, and I don't need the um, paramedic US van either. I've got a couple of those. It's actually a couple of variations of that as well. Yeah, and there's another Coca Cola van. Don't know if that's any better than the one I put in the keep box, or so put that one in the keep box as well, just for now. Right. Two of these silver trailers from Matchbox. Might go with those two um, silver cabs that are in here. Again, I've got this style of Porsche in other variations, but not gold. So that's another variation I didn't know existed. I'm always learning. You know, with this. Oh, here's another one. Same Porsche, just in black. And different colour windows. It's got the amber windows on it. And a red interior. It's got to be the cheapest way to make a variation of a toy, you know. You just change the colour of the interior, colour of the windows, and give it a different colour paint. <laughs> Probably the cheapest and the easiest way. Well, there's another one of those. Oh! I wonder. Yep. I need to rescue that one out of there then. <laughs> okay. Matchbox rescue helicopter. Uh, we've got another one here. Oh, these are in mint condition. My other one's quite rough. I've got two here in pretty much mint condition, but that one's on some sort of bracket. Ah! 
all becomes clear now. Oh, hello. Look at what I found. <laughs> found a boom for this. There we go. Got one complete with hooks that I can stick on eBay now. And I'm really surprised that this one has still got the bucket attached. Every time I go to car boot sales and I'll find one of these, guaranteed that bucket is missing. I've got the yellow one, but I haven't got the red one. Red Volvo. Missing whatever goes on the back, but that doesn't bother me. What's this? Is that a majorette one? Yep, that is a majorette one. Don't really need that one. I think I've got it. I'm not 100% certain now. Key box for the time being. Hmm. I think I'll keep that just for now, to just refresh my memory on what ones I have got. I don't need that, I've got a few of these. Some have got the red stripes on, some of them haven't. I don't know if they did a version without them or if they've just worn off over the years. Uh, I've got that, so I can go in the uh, for sale box. That's a keeper just because it's a fire truck. <laughs> I do like these ERF. I like some corgi. I'm going to keep that one. Because I've gotten into the mood to do like some custom restos on some rough models that I've got. So I'll probably keep that for that. Okay. Awesome, I've got another two of these. I was only talking about these on a Discord server the other day and how many variations of everything it is because this there's two different variations right here in my hand. This one in my right hand has no glass in the windows and that one's got blue glass. So they will be here. Did I put one of these in my kit box? Or am I seeing double? <laughs> I'm going to put that one in there for now as a Mazda. Because I'm, I'm sure I mentioned Mazda, you know, towards the beginning of the video. Well, I know I put one of those in there, so I can go in the uh, selling box. Now, those two trucks that I mentioned earlier that I didn't know who they were made by, I don't know, I said they've got a very big clue on the side of them that I didn't see. <laughs> Duh. You know, the clue is right on the side there. They're nice trucks. I'm keeping both of those. don't really need to, but I like them. This one made me smile when I saw this as well, because this is one that I have not got. I've got several versions of this Corgi Ford Mustang. Well, not that one with the stars and stripes on it. Not many people love this shape of Mustang, but I quite like it. The old fox body. Ooh. I was going to put this in the selling box, because I've already got a sick Jeep like this, but this is in bloody good condition. So I'm going to swap it. <laughs> Another BP oil truck, I don't need that. Another hovercraft, I don't need that. <laughs> Seriously, that must be one of the most common ones I come across. Hello. I've got another one. Definitely keep that, because like I said, I've got trailers, plenty of, and not much in the way of cabs to put on them. Oh, that's a keeper. I've got 
a red one, I've got a gold one, I think I've got at least one, maybe two, that I did custom restos on. I've got a red one now, Ford uh, Granada, is that Ford Cortina? Cortina, that would be the Mark IV, it's not the Mark III, I know that, so it must be the Mark IV. a variation of this truck I haven't got. I only thought they did them with the dark brown um, body and yellow cab. Oh this has got amber windows on it as well. I've never, I've never seen that version. Nice. This is Matchbox or is this cool? Oh this is cool. I might put that on my transport trailer up on the shelf version because I like that one better. Um, an upside down corgi there, another Buick Regal. Now I have got this majorette in green but it doesn't have the canopy. It's missing its canopy so that's a keeper. A lovely looking car. I love these cars. I've got a few um, variations of it. I've actually got it in white, red. I've got some that actually look similar to this, but they're not the same car. What is this? Does it actually say? I'm going to be in French. It's a Morgan. It's not in bad shape either, in fairness. You know, I said I was going to put the majorettes up there, didn't I? And I didn't do it. Here's another one. Is that a Morgan as well? Might be. It's a bit rougher, but... Yeah. A bit on the rough side, unfortunately, and missing the canopy. Matchbox bulldozer here. Minus the cab. Oh, speaking of... Uh, if you think back to the video I did on the big red tub of diecast that I got. No, sorry, it wasn't the red tub, it was the blue tub of diecast. Um, I did find a bulldozer to put that cab on. And I thought it was beside me, but it's not, it's in the other room. I've got like three different variations of this Mercedes, and I've only got only one with the vinyl roof and windscreen intact. Need that I've got it. A Citroen Diane from Corgi. Uh, same with that, don't need that one. I don't think. Now I want to check my other ones to see if it's got like a colour window difference on it or something. So I'll keep that one for now. <laughs> a couple of the oh I can see something else there that I'm interested in. I can see two things that I'm actually interested in. Three. Ah. Wonder what that was. That's the hood for that black Mustang. I've got a feeling that should go on here. There we go. Yeah, it's going to fly off again if I'm not careful, but. I think it came with a hood. I don't think my other one's got the hood. Matchbox race car. Corgi shuttle. That's missing one of the doors though. The other one was complete. Matchbox fire truck. I'm missing the uh, boom, which I've actually got. But the windows are a bit... Yeah, on that one have been pushed through. Another majorette, Renault Alpine, police car, ah, now this one is complete, a tampo is a bit worn but that one is complete, that's what that other truck's meant to look like, so I can swap that in that box, I was going to tip this bloody box out again, haven't I? <laughs> 
Uh, this one's got the black radar on it, and I don't have one with the black radar. I've got one with the beige and one with the chrome, and I've got one with the black. How can we make three different versions? I know, well, let's change the colour of the radar. Corgi damper. Just a simple yellow Corgi burst. Don't need that. Wind up toy. <laughs> I believe that is my third one of those. I've got one that is actually near mint. I've got the uh, sliding sunroof on it as well. We're nearly there. Oh, well, this one looks to be in better condition than my other one. Well, I didn't find what that went to. <laughs> so I've got a spare refuse truck thingy. This is Corgi, isn't it? Yeah, Corgi Bugs Buddy Car. It's a definite keeper. We've got to keep Bugs. And then we've got another Matchbox Ferrari in orange. Better condition than my other one. So it'll be kept. And I think this is the one that goes with the silver tracks. Either the silver one or the yellow one. So I've got another one of those as well. Yeah, it is a Leyland cab. That's it. That's an empty box now. And that also means that, that is it for the video. Oh, did I show these ones? I don't think I did, did I? I think I've got these with the brown. Oh, these are super fast as well. Two horse boxes with the, with the brown door. That's not a bad little haul for 20 quid. Didn't find a cab for that shell tanker, did I? Uh, speaking of, I need that one out. There. So that cardboard box has just been reduced to that. <laughs> right. Two absolutely identical. Eh? Yep, the trailers are at the bottom, and so is that other Coca Cola van, it's right there. Well, I think the one closer to the top is actually in better condition. There it is. There's a few nice finds in here. I mean, I'm more happy with that. I'm even more happier with that. <laughs> I'm bother with that. I can they be bothered? I didn't notice that both of them had that platform one, but they must go on that because the pegs line up perfectly. Right, I think I'm going to keep these out of the box then. And I'll just fish the cabs out, which are at the bottom, naturally. That's in very good condition, that Mustang. Take a photo of some of these and put up on um, a group I'm on. The diecast scrapyard, I'll probably put it up in there. I'm on another one called Strictly Matchbox. Uh, yeah. That was the other one I was looking for. I can go in the uh, thingy as I'm keeping the uh, other one. Right, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle.
Yep, this truck does actually go with, they do go together. It's just got Tyrone Malone written on the truck's wing, and then up here it's got Malone's transporter. So yeah, that is a set. They also sold that little truck separately. So I remember seeing it separately, and I've seen boxed versions of it. Not cheap. Alright, I've got one cab. Where's the other one gone? right to me. I'm sure. And that looks right to me. Marginally better. Not with much though, but marginally. Have that one out. I put that in here with the cab on it and with it. Now I can't find it. I literally laid it down here all together. I need to light these blazers. subject of die cast. Um, I am waiting for a bunch to arrive in the mail uh, that I bought on Facebook. I do trust the guy. Um, he is friends with another trustworthy die cast, die cast seller that I know. Um, so he did say my parcel probably won't be posted until Friday, maybe next Monday, that's fine. I, you know, I did keep him waiting a couple of days for the payment, so I'm, I'm okay with that. I call it karma. <laughs> I should put, whoops, I should put that with that other yellow trailer, really, shouldn't I? Tonic breath. One did everything else. Oh yeah, have I seen double? Do I have two of these? Or am I just going nuts? Don't answer that. Keep that one. Put those US fans together as a job lot. See what happens. I have got two. I'm just going to make sure there's no variation between them, that they are absolutely identical. Yep. What if 
these little things were, oh, we didn't look inside that Weetabix box, did we? Nearly forgot about that. <laughs> um, I'm probably not going to go to Alsham Car Boot this weekend, but there is one over here in town. And a die-cast guy, obviously weather permitting, he's going to try and go to that one as well. Well, actually told me he will be going to that one. I'm not finding any more majorettes in here. That's the other thing I was actually looking for. There's no more major rats in this one. Matchbox is cool, you know. Uh, so I can get a photo of that separately. Yes. I don't know if I've got enough room up here. <laughs> Brilliant. I wonder if it's the Weetabix lorry that's in here, because Corgi did do one of those. Oh no, it says Jaguar on the box, doesn't it? Oh! oh. Metal base as well. Blacked out windows, look at that. I think that is worth... Uh, see if I can get that one. I've got a clear my shelf of corgi in that bedroom at some point and dust it all down and whatnot so I'll probably put this up there as it is. That is not I like that, that's nice. Oh, that's heavy. I've only got it on one arm anyway. Just that curiosity. broken. That'll do for now. <laughs> BP Super. BP Super unleaded then. Okay. Okey dokey. want a Facebook group specifically for Majorette and to no surprise a number of the members if not most of them are actually French right that is all for the video so I hope you enjoyed it if you did thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down and of course please subscribe it's totally free to do so and uh, I'll leave links to all my other bits and bobs in the description below the video. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.